We've all known for some time that Trinidad and Tobago is a nation spiraling out of control. People were being killed at record rates, guns made for war flooded our streets, and everyone seemed to be in fear of losing their life. If you think our national nightmare couldn't get any worse, just take a look at what's happened in this country over the last few weeks. There were gun battles in the streets and at least 24 people were killed across this country in one week alone. From the time you step out of your door, you're taking your life into your hands. Criminal gangs respect no one, our mothers and our children have become collateral damage. The leaders of our government and our opposition parties have failed to deliver. They need to put aside their differences and confront this national crisis head on. It starts at the top. That means you, Prime Minister. The first responsibility of any government is to protect its citizens. Guardian Media recently reported that our government has used millions of taxpayer dollars to support gang bosses and criminal networks fueling violence. It has happened under governments past and present. No one has disputed that these criminals take our money, buy more weapons made for war, fund their illicit activities and fight each other for government largesse. Innocent civilians become their murder and robbery victims. How can the Commission of Police and his officers fight crime when the government is funding gangs? We are well past the point of patience and tolerance. We do not have the luxury of time. We demand urgent and immediate action. This is the time for our leaders to make bold decisions. Forget the consequences for the next general election. Take the tough but difficult decisions now. People of Trinidad and Tobago, what is happening in this country is not normal. We are losing a generation of young men and young women. This is a call to all decent people. All good citizens of Trinidad and Tobago who value law and order must come out in numbers greater than the criminals to reclaim our country, to help make our neighborhoods safe again, and to work with what should be a revamped and professional police service. Let us channel our collective outrage. Let our leaders in government and opposition know that we don't like it so. Demand that they work together to solve this crisis. Guardian Media is committed to addressing these issues. Finding solutions will not be easy. It requires sacrifice, our best minds and collaboration. But staying the course or doing nothing is not an option. To do so is to put the very survival of our beloved nation at stake.